Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi taala wabarakatuh and a very good day. We shall continue our lecture on rocket propulsion. For today's video, we will look into the definition and fundamentals in relation to rocket propulsion. In terms of the learning outcomes, you should be able to identify what is total impulse as well as specific impulse. You should also be able to compare the exhaust velocity and effective exhaust velocity and then able to explain in terms of the mass ratio and propellant mass fraction and finally calculate impulse to weight ratio and thrust to weight ratio based on examples that I will provide you in the lecture notes. In the previous video, we have already discussed on the introduction to rocket propulsion. Basically, this particular video will cover on the basis principles of mechanics, thermodynamics, as well as chemistry in relation to rocket propulsion. And we have already known in the previous video that the propulsive force obtained by ejecting propellant at a high velocity. So this video deals with basic relations of propulsive force, exhaust velocity, efficiencies of energy creation, conversion, and basic parameters. Okay, this is the contents of this particular video. We will cover in terms of the total impulse, specific impulse, propellant mass, as well as the effective exhaust velocity. The first one is total impulse. Total impulse, denoted by I subscript T, is the thrust force integrated over burning time and it is denoted in uh, equation 1 where it equal to the integration of the thrust with respect to time for a constant thrust and negligible start and stop transient equation 1 will reduce to equation 2 which is express in it equal to the thrust time the time and impulse total is proportional to the energy released by all the propellant in the propulsion system let us now look into the second item which is the specific impulse the specific impulse denoted by the symbol I subscript S is the total impulse per unit weight of propellant. So an, a higher number of total impulse means a better performance for the rocket. And it is expressed in equation 3 where IS equal to the integration of the force or the thrust with respect to time divided by the gravitational acceleration times the integration of the mass flow rate of propellant with respect to time where m dot is the mass flow of propellant and g naught is the standard acceleration of gravity which is 9.80 meter per square second the third item is the propellant mass for constant thrust and propellant flow, equation 3 can be simplified, simplified as equation 4, where the specific impulse equal to the total impulse divided by the mass flow, sorry, the mass of the propellant times the gravi gravitational acceleration. So the MP in equation 4 
is the total effective propellant mass. Okay, it depends on what type of propellant, but in general, MP is the total effective propellant mass. For negligible short start and stop transient, equation 4 can be rewritten as the following expression in equation 5. Okay, and MPG0, okay, the effective propellant mass times the gravitational acceleration is the total effective propellant weight. W and the total weight flow is W dot. The last one, which is the effective exhaust velocity. So in a rocket nozzle, the actual exhaust velocity is not uniform. Okay, over the entire exit cross section. So you, you imagine a nozzle with a diameter, it would not, it will not have the a uniform actual exhaust velocity and does not represent the entire thrust magnitude so we use a uniform axial velocity c which is being assumed okay so this is effective exhaust velocity which is the average equivalent velocity and it is being expressed in equation six here where axial velocity or effective exhaust velocity C equal to the impulse, the, the, the uh, specific impulse times the gravitational acceleration, which is equal to the thrust divided by the mass flow rate. We shall continue in the following video to look into the mass ratio, the propellant mass fraction, as well the impulse to weight ratio. If you have any question, you can put it in the notes in the YouTube link. Bye-bye for now.